Nancy Pelosi says President Trump is staging a cover up. This sounds very exciting. A cover up of what is my first question and what's the evidence of this? Let's just assume it's not about his hair. <laughs> That's the obvious. Uh, so the, the cover up that she's insinuating here. Uh, and secondly, who thought that a meeting on infrastructure would get this crazy, right? Um, so she's uh, she, what she's saying is that uh, because he stonewalled the testimony uh, from McGahn, that that is tantamount to a cover up. Now, I get what she's saying. Is, is it a stretch? Yes. Is it political pandering? Yes. Do I hate it? Yes. I hate it when Republicans do it, too. Um, it doesn't really get us anywhere, as we saw, because of, of all things, the infrastructure meeting got tanked. Right. Uh, this is really probably you're probably right about the fact that it's the most exciting meeting on infrastructure uh, that a government <laughs> has ever had. Here, here's here's why I don't buy even into the idea that because Don McGahn, uh, because the president told him not to comply with the subpoena, not to testify, that that's somehow a cover up. Didn't McGahn testify to Mueller, Robert Mueller, the special counsel who, Good remember, point. the Democrats held up as like the be all end all investigator. Didn't he give 30 hours of testimony to Mueller? He did. And I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, the only thing is, is let's be honest here. The Constitution gives them, gives Congress oversight of the executive branch. Uh, so, you know, my my party is making the case that they're just doing their constitutional duty to provide oversight of the executive branch. I understand that. Republicans did it, too. That's why we saw Hillary Clinton investigated a million bajillion times. Um, and I didn't have a problem with any of that. Um, is it a cover up for the president to suggest that that McGahn defy congressional subpoenas? I'm really not OK with that. I understand where the president's coming from, saying that it's drug on for too long. But nonetheless, they do have a constitutional duty to provide oversight. In my humble opinion, Mueller punted the obstruction case to Congress by refusing to really make a, a call on whether or not there was obstruction. And he also said that he evidence. couldn't identify. He also said he couldn't identify any elements that would constitute a crime. The only thing that the Democrats right. are hanging their hats on by saying, "Oh, it's been punted to Congress," is because he said because Mueller said, "But it also doesn't exonerate him," which we all know. We've been over this a hundred yes. times. It is not the job of a prosecutor to exonerate someone. Either you have proof and you show the proof that the elements of the crime exist or you don't. And if you don't, then it doesn't matter whether the behavior is shady. It doesn't matter whether it meets some elements. If you choose not to prosecute, that's your only job to decide yes or no. If yep. it's no, your job is not to exonerate. 